Prevention of food. In this section, we will learn how to prevent food contamination from the hazards we detect. As I explained before, the hazards are divided into three classes, physical, chemical and biological. These three headings should come to mind when the protection of food from hazards taught. However, there are two basic elements in preventing contamination of hazards that threaten human health to food. They are cross-contamination and personal hygiene. Even when cross-contamination is fully prevented and personal hygiene is fully ensured, only 90% of the potential hazards to food can be prevented. Prevention of physical hazards Physical hazards are the easiest hazard class to avoid because physical hazards are often visible with naked eye and we can easily detect and take precautions. To prevent physical hazards in our kitchen, we must Kitchen should be always be clean and well maintained, free of dust on the floor and on the counter. Objects which are hanged on pipes or located on hoods and cupboards should be placed in a way doesn't fall down. If necessary, they should be removed from these places. Doors and windows must have mosquito nets to prevent flies and insects from passing. And all holes in walls and floors must be closed to prevent insects from passing. Hoods cleaning should be done at regular intervals. Oil and dust accumulation shouldn't be allowed. The kitchen should be ventilated frequently. Foods should not be left on the counter and in the refrigerator as open. If we have a plaster on hand when preparing food, we should wear gloves. When preparing foods, if there are hanging jewelry on our neck and arm, these must be removed. If there is something in the pockets of clothes such as aprons and shirts that we wear during the food preparation, the pockets should be emptied. Hair should be covered with a bonnet or cover. Cleaning clothes used in the kitchen should be lint free. Paper towels should be preferred instead of clothes or towels if necessary. When the cigarettes is smoked in the kitchen, the ashes falling on the counter and table should be cleaned. No smoking in the kitchen if possible. The objects on the fruits and vegetables such as sand, soil, leaves and stalks should be prevented from spilling and dispersing on the kitchen and counter. Food packaging and packaging materials should be opened carefully. Packaging parts should not be dispersed. The trash can must be held kept. If possible, there shouldn't be any trash can on the counter. The trash cans should be kept in the floor cabinets or in the balcony. Prevention of chemical hazards In order to avoid chemical hazards, the following should be observed. Chemicals should not be contaminated to foods. Detergents should never be placed in the food containers. Food containers should never be used as detergent containers. Hot food shouldn't be placed in plastic containers. Detergents transferred from original to another packaging must be identified with a tag. Stainless steel pots should be preferred as pots. While spraying insecticides in the kitchen, open foods should be closed or removed. If there is nail polish on nails, gloves should be worn. Fruits and vegetables should be washed very well, then wipe it with a paper towel. After handling chemicals, hands should be washed. Detergents should be stored on lower shelves, away from food. Detergents should never be mixed. Dishes should be rinsed very well. Soaps or detergents shouldn't be used to clean food stuff. Chemicals should be used according to the instructions. Prevention of microbiological hazards. In order to avoid microbiological hazards, the following should be observed. Processes and behaviors that cause cross contamination should be avoided. Cloth towels used to dry hands should be washed frequently. If possible, paper towels should be used instead of cloth towels. While preparing foods, hands 
should be washed after touching the spoiled food. After handling dirty materials, hands should be washed. After handling the packaged foods, hands should be washed. Cooked foods and raw foods should be kept close so that they don't come into contact with each other. Foods should not be kept open in the kitchen, should be covered. Trash cans should be pedal operated if possible, hands should be washed after handling trash can. Foods should be cooked at sufficient temperature. When storing foods, the first in, first out principle must be followed. After the preparation of foods, the kitchen should be cleaned very well and dry and it must be left dry. The refrigerator should not be overfilled. All foods and dishes should be stored at appropriate temperatures. After shopping, bags and packaged foods should not be placed on the counter. Foods that need to be protected by the cold chain should be placed in the refrigerator within 15 minutes. On the counter, there shouldn't be anything other than foodstuffs and equipments to be prepared. Personal hygiene rules must be followed. Hands should be disinfected with the right washing technique. The trash can should be emptied frequently. Different cutting boards should be used for meat, fruit and vegetables, dairy products and bread. After touching the raw meat and eggs, hands should be washed and other food should not be touched before the hands are washed. Containers, utensils and any other food that has come into contact with raw meat and egg must be disinfected before contact with any other foods. After cleaning, food and food residues shouldn't be left on the table or on the counter.